Hi everyone, this is Six Storm Team Meteorologist Ken Weathers with your forecast discussion for this Saturday evening. Definitely felt more like summer across the area today as we warmed up to 86 degrees officially, just a couple degrees below average, but you notice it was a little more humid out there. You want to get used to that. Now something I'll be watching as we go overnight is this complex of thunderstorms that seems to be developing further to the north, especially up into portions of Illinois. There is the possibility that this could actually drop southward overnight probably going to weekend, but we'll still have to watch some areas maybe up into southeast Kentucky, southwest Virginia, even northern sections of the valley could see a shower or thunderstorm overnight as that comes through. Not expected to be severe with that. If we're going to see severe storms, it's more likely as we go late Sunday into Sunday evening across the area ahead of a cold front, which is going to send a big cool down headed our way by the first part of next week. So it stays muggy overnight, upper 60s to low 70s across the region. We're looking right about 71 here in Knoxville and highs tomorrow climbing into the low 90s. I think some of these numbers are a little too warm on the forecast model showing a mid 90s. I think a pretty good bet everybody's in the low 90s though tomorrow across the board. I just think that's a little too high, this 95, 96 down towards Madison. But regardless, it's going to be quite tropical out there when you factor in the humidity. We're going to have strong southwest winds, 10 to 25 miles per hour across the area that's funneling in all that moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. We also have a cold front that's going to be sweeping through late in the day. And the combination of that heat, that humidity with a cold front coming through, there's an elevated risk for some severe storms across the entire area late on Sunday. Notice the moderate risk across eastern Kentucky into West Virginia. So here's kind of what we're looking at as we go overnight. Six timeline shows shows that decaying thunderstorm complex, but still maybe holding up uh, long enough to produce a few rumbles of thunder across the area. This is by 3 a.m. Sunday. That slides into the mountains and weekends. So we start out 6 a.m. relatively dry. Could see another series, if you will, of thunderstorms come through, say, mid-morning to midday across southeast Kentucky, southwest Virginia across that area. We'll have to watch for that. But regardless, I think most of the afternoon hours look fairly dry. And again, if we see this much cloud cover, those mid-90s are just not going to be possible across the south. But we'll see if that actually pans out. Regardless, I think it's going to be warm and humid tomorrow. Then we'll watch later in the day as a cold front's going to be sweeping out of Kentucky, moving our direction. We'll start to see some storms pop up ahead of it. This is by 6 o'clock. Some of those stronger storms in the evening hours, 745. Again, this is not exact. This is just kind of a uh, an estimate in the timing with these showers and storms coming through. And the bulk of this will probably move out shortly after mid Midnight as that front sweeps through the area. So right now, wind and hail seem to be the main threat. Wind in that medium to high category. Can't totally rule out an isolated tornado. There is some differentiation in the wind direction with height uh, in the atmosphere tomorrow. So I'd say low to medium with that. Don't think it's a widespread tornado outbreak, but I can't totally rule one or two out. That's why we're going to follow this and look at the timing, mainly between 6 and 11 p.m. across our area. So for the mountains for tonight, it's mild. Can't rule out some late storms tomorrow. High is only about a 40% coverage. We're looking more like after sunset or closer to sunset in the mountains. Now for the plateau, there'll be a chance, as I showed you, overnight tonight and then again late Sunday. More than half of the area should see those. Highs in the upper 80s chance of those storms overnight tonight in southeast Kentucky and then again later in the day on Sunday about a 60 percent coverage of showers and storms there and we'll see similar coverage here in the valley possibly one or two towards daybreak better bet as we go late afternoon into the evening across the area tomorrow and here's kind of what I'm looking at once that front comes through it looks great look at those daytime highs with sunshine upper 70s to wrap up July are you kidding that's going to be pretty nice. And those overnight lows, especially as we go Wednesday into Thursday, we could be talking about some record low temperatures. Kind of hard to believe. But we'll keep a close eye on that for tomorrow, at least the severe threat. Always get the updates at WATE.com. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll keep you updated there. Hope you have a great night.